What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of Sackboy A Big Adventure. This time we're going to travel over to a new world which is called Kingdom of Crablantis. And we're going to go and speak to a king called King Bogoth. Uh, so there you go, the Kingdom of Crablantis. Always nice to explore new worlds and, and discover new features and new uh, and new characters that are appearing in these new worlds. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I have uh, played it at the same time as I've been recording all of the other games um, like Call of Duty, uh, Cold War and also uh, Kena. Uh, I finished recording all of them now and I'm concentrating on Sackboy Big Adventure to do some more voiceovers because I know you guys like these ones. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is just go into the first round um, uh, level it's called a sink or swing and uh, you have to pick up uh, five orbs and uh, the first thing we're going to be introduced to is a new character his, his name is King Bogov and uh, uh, let's hear what he's got to say and then we'll be back A new customer! Welcome to Bogov's Emporium of Flotsam and Jetsam. Only the finest tat and barely extortionate prices. So, <laughs> what will it be? Bag of broken TV remotes? Rusty bathtub? Used toothbrush? <laughs> oh, you're here about Vex. That sticky finger pilfering mugger's been stirring trouble and taking my goods without paying. <laughs> Now he wants to fleece the ocean of its tides. Tell you what, I'm gonna break all my own rules and don't tell anyone, but I like your face. So, here's a freebie. A taster, if you will. Um, a swing my jig. Yes. Now, off you go. Browse, chop, spend. All right, and we are back, and we get a grapple this time. So this is a pretty cool thing, uh, this grapple, and uh, it is like it just means that you can grapple uh, like the yellow spongy sort of uh, materials, and uh, grapple any you know boxes and things like that, and throw them and break them without having to use uh, without having to punch them really, uh, and uh, it is really handy in certain areas in this game, uh, or in this level at least. As you can see, there's the. The spongy bit right at the top so you can swing from them just use the grapple and then uh, just swing from them that's it right uh, just want to let you know that obviously I can't reset uh, these levels so I have done the the second two orbs dreamer orbs but uh, I am telling you where they are as well uh, but you know I had to go back because obviously you can't reset the level as I've mentioned before and the issues is that you can't really restart from the beginning, which is a shame. Uh, I think that is an oversight that uh, um, that um, the Sackboy developers should really change. You should be able to reset the level without having to reset the whole game from the beginning. Right, so uh, let's go and get our first orb. You've got one of these guys in here throwing uh, arrows at you. Just get rid of him and... Uh, uh, and just go over to the other side. So you got um, you, there's loads and loads of gaps in the, in these levels, uh, and uh, you have to just swing from them. Just uh, all you need to do is exactly that. Just throw your grapple and then swing from it. And you can get a costume piece in here, and then you got the flippy platforms on the clock, which uh, gives it an extra a step in difficulty. And uh, this is where we're going to go and get our first orb. And um, obviously, in my uh, orb collection, I've already got two there, but I will tell you exactly where they are. So in order to get the first orb, you need to go and break these boxes here. You have to just throw them out, uh, use your grapple to pull them out and, and break as much as you can. So you can have a little bit of space to, to, to jump on over onto the platform. And that is our first orb right here, as you can see on top now. I already got two, but I'll tell you where they are. They are really close from here anyway. In here, you just have to time it properly, wait for the fish to, to come over to your side to create a platform, and then you can just go and pick up uh, the orbs that you got in here and uh, wait for the fish again. If you want to go and pick up the other orbs on the left-hand side, and um, uh, it's probably advisable that you get rid of these guys first and uh, then do that. And then you've got one of these eggs in here where you can pick up 
either an extra live or, or some orbs or in my case I got one of these bad guys as well so uh, not very lucky for me uh, I've lost quite a lot in this game it, 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 sorry in this level it is a really tough level in certain areas and you can easily uh, um, miscalculate and uh, and that that's enough for you to lose and having to start again from the beginning right so uh, when we get to this area here there's going to be a chest up the top there and there is going to be our next orb you just have to follow the chest punch it and collect the orb inside and that will be our second orb collected now we're going to go and uh, pick up whatever little bits we've got in here. There's quite a few flippy platforms in here. In these ones you just have to just uh, throw your grapple to the top. Uh, obviously get rid of some of the bad guys that are down here. And uh, throw your grapple to the spongy bit and then you can just flip uh, with the grapple on. I'll explain you what you need to do exactly like that and then you flip up to the top. In here you just have to dive head first and pick up um, the times two and the uh, orbs that come out of the hall and then you got the flippy platform in here just jump on this ramp in here and then flippy platform again the same motion where you throw the grapple and hit the flipping uh, platform uh, right we've got some more of this fish in here and uh, you have to just use exactly like that but you have to be quick you have to time it properly in order to get the third orb um, you've got the cube right above us in here as well and the way to do this one is to just jump um, grab one of these sponging th things and, uh, and just swing when you get to this side in here just go and pick up your cube just swing over to the drawer and um, you can pick up your um, your cube from the drawer uh, now you've got an area in here as well that uh, will open up afterwards got a question mark in here where we're going to pick up uh, our fourth orb and uh, to do that you do the exact same thing but in order to get that costume piece in the center you need to just like follow the the wheel around and around and then uh, until you get to that um, platform in the center and get into the question mark in here we've done this before it's like the food gets dropped off you just use the grapple and just throw it in its uh, uh, mouth before it explodes so you've got loads in here that you can throw and it's not it's not difficult this one you just have to make sure that you collect uh, all of the all of them before they, they explode and you just throw them directly into its mouth you don't have to move closer to its mouth you just just do as fast as you can uh, just throw them in its mouth with a grapple it is quite tricky to begin with but I'm pretty sure that with a bit of practice you you will get this all right now this is going to be our fourth orb in here uh, and uh, it's time for us to go and get out of this area and go to the right hand side keep going following right it's a platformer so you keep always right <laughs> and uh, you have to just jump onto the onto this thing and uh, throw your grapple onto the spongy bit and then we're gonna go over to this side the the final orb you can see it is right above on the top right of your screen right now on the top uh, that's being guarded by some of the bad guys in here you just need to just get rid of this balloon in here collect the orbs and then uh, there's another balloon down here in one of these eggs that you can pick up uh, a few orbs or a few more things uh, I got an extra live in here uh, because I kept on losing uh, so really really handy to have this extra life so with your grapple pull the drawer the, the drawer out and then jump on the flip with platforms and we are in a different area now now you've got a, a wrecking ball at the top left with the spongy bit so it means that you can grapple onto it and go to the other side to the other platform so don't get into the into the flower what we're going to do we're going to go over to the to the left hand side and collect our fifth and final orb and uh, that should complete our our quest or our mission which is uh uh, to collect all orbs in the game and we've collected as well the the cube we, we always collect those as well like the cube and the orbs are always collected here we go so we got our fifth and final orb now just collect whatever it's in here there's a few boxes on the left hand side uh, just make sure that you pick up everything before you leave this area because once you jump on the flower that is it there's no turning back you just have to go to the end uh, and uh, that is really it you just jump on the flower and then you just roll you have to roll in here and then 
use your grapple to on the spongy bits and just keep on rolling and rolling until you get to the fleet platforms and do the same motion and that is it that is the finish so i guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like and consider subscribing so i can continue releasing more content like this i'll be back again with some more sack boy a big adventure very very soon so thanks again for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>